welcome back uh, friends dear participants we have dis- we have been discussing how to overcome and what are the challenges right so we have we have discussed few challenges physical challenges mind setup issues and you know like fear of getting updated so friends now in this part second part we will discuss what are those challenges they were internet speed hardware awareness about tools apps hands on experience you know the self made teaching learning is not well equipped available and there were other challenges also they were mindset challenges they are very important and difficult to tackle but of course nothing is impossible in this world friends nothing can replace blackboard face to face teaching is so important agreed everything is agreed and now i have only 3 years of retirement why should i update myself i am happy with my old notes and blackboard friends you need to update and you have to actually work on your weaknesses and what are those weaknesses weaknesses are many of the teachers sorry to say i have heard i have attended hundreds of, with 28 years into teaching and heading an institution i have attended many lectures and i find many of the teachers do not have good command on language they are not good communicators which is something which is a mandatory thing for any teacher shifting to local and regional languages people very comfortably shift to english to hindi to you know regional language and then they stop then i when i ask why don't you take you know why don't you record and then there is like a fear of getting recorded it forms a permanent image of a teacher yes of course because once you record friends developing e content is one of the biggest thing biggest challenge and it has to be your own and then it if it goes on youtube if it goes on google drive of your institution if it goes on some university portal it will form permanent image of teacher why not yes of course if it is on youtube it is an international platform other teachers may find mistakes yes they will point out and few of them find very difficult why to update because you know when you create a youtube you need to be you need to give a very updated information which is internationally accepted so it's very important and teaching can be you know a real effective teacher is the teacher who is lifelong learner understanding student psychology friends generation gap the next generation is very smart students are very super fast net savvy tech savvy and we have to match the pace we have to understand the psychology of students they are getting bored in the classes they can find out better options on google they don't find the required connectivity even in physical classrooms so teachers need to think on these you know you have to have you have to adjust your teachings with respect to students learning styles and the latest trends use rampant social media because students love social media you cannot say don't use twitter don't use facebook i know many teachers even i have done this experiment who give their assignments and the assignment will fetch the marks only if it is uploaded on facebook create own video can be an assignment to students and how can you stop them because facebook which they love instagram they love so if you can blend this use of social media which is their favorite thing which are their favorite apps you can still blend these things and then you will find students will take a tremendous interest you know our you know we can teach but are we ensuring learning is our teaching learning friendly or not is a question which we all need to understand so what we teach is done and how we teach is the bigger question the more important and hence you need and very very effective communication skills now friends when we understand communication skills it 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 is a package what is communication skills it you need to practice it is a skill the very name suggest you cannot read 10 books on communication skills and you cannot watch 100 videos on communication skills and then you can be a very good communicator no it is a skill you need to practice stand before mirror and start practicing 
find find out all the aspects of communication skills body language facial expression proximity your dressing sense entire thing i don't i don't want to elaborate all that thing it's my favorite topic communication skills but friends there are 10 components of communication skills and you must know all of them that how you can be the most presentable personality on the dais in the classroom so that student should feel comfortable students should feel interested in looking towards you and understanding the topics from you second is media which media you are going how to teach is the concept what i want to teach it's final the topic codes are given the syllabus is given the teaching plans are ready so what we teach is important yes but how we teach is equally important in the era of this online teaching learning online teaching learning you need to understand the importance of teaching media there are various media there are various methods and which ict tool you will be using it's very very important friends i will suggest that whenever you have a list of topic codes then you have a list like you have to finish this subject into 50 hours means 50 topic codes you have a perfect teaching plan fantastic and then you write a serial number the topic code number maybe date plan you know time and the topic which you will be covering in just in front of that create four columns this is my assignment to all of you create four columns what are they teaching method teaching media ict tool and assessment tool how which method you are going to use what media you will be using what ict tool will be most friendly and very we love make the subject very lucid and easy to understand what is that ict tool whether it's a video, whether it's a chat room, whether it is a video conferencing with one of the scientists, what and what, how you are going to assess that one class that yes, each and every student has understood. Just don't get scared of online teaching learning friends. The very important and prime thing which I understand, the biggest struggle is about developing your own authentic, successful, wonderful useful e-content so e-content development is the biggest challenge so teacher must learn to generate very high quality self-made i always say self-made there are hundreds of videos but those are you are not friendly and even your students are not friendly students understand your language they are habitual to your communication skills so create your own but one thing you know you can create but at the same time you must take care that you must understand that once you are on web once you are on the web on youtube students are going to compare you with the hundreds of video which are otherwise available on the topic and yes it's a challenge it's a big challenge but you know accepting challenge is a pleasure rigorous e-content survey is must of your topic and subject friends you cannot create your own video of your own I want to teach, I want to cover. No, there are another hundred wonderful standard videos, well studied videos are available. Survey them rigorously and then read your books. You know, you know use your, refer your, your own subject contents and then create a complete blended thing out of it. It should be absolutely easy to understand and students learning friendly. And sorry to say, I should not say, but please avoid cut, copy, paste from ready-made websites, ready-made videos which are available. It, it spoils the entire flow of that class. You find many of the PPTs I have checked of my teachers and there are a lot of cut copy paste and then it kills the flow of that entire class. So please don't do that. Second important thing, <clears throat> the biggest another top challenges. We are talking and we are discussing about challenges and we have a solution. We can of course, you know, challenges are there, but the time has come that we have to fight we have to win these challenges. So logistics, it's an era of online, te online teaching learning friends. Every teacher must arrange for the best internet facility at his residence also. Because you will, you will be studying, you will be developing your videos late night. You cannot do entire e-content development in the college. You have another activities to do in the college. So naturally at home, you should have the best possible available internet facility. You should have higher end and latest computing facility it is must if you're if you are not you know if your laptop if your mobile is not supporting the latest apps 
not supporting the latest videos their downloads some electronic and uh, it based simulators sorry and then i request that every teacher it's very easy it will not take 2 3 days but mastering and having basic knowledge about recording audios and videos is must if you are handicapped on how to record i don't understand how to record videos i can't record only audios how to blend them teacher should acquire expertise in some small audio video editing mixing kind of software there are wonderful simple easy to use softwares are available apps are available and many of these facilities are very much built in in powerpoint itself but we never use the all the facilities which are available even in powerpoint so teacher must acquire the small expertise because developing e content and the logistic handicap will always stop you from developing a quality and most acceptable e content while preparing for class along with books you must start referring and start using e content already available i'll again appeal to all of you that you know we have stepped into the era of online so let us not hesitate let us not think that this is for two months and then i'll be back to this is a good opportunity entire world the best universities i have i have been visiting so many international universities in europe and in israel and in other countries and i found that they have been using online teaching learning portals since years so it is high time now why not to start your own youtube channel <clears throat> you will get your own brand it will be easy to share students will be happy that yes our teacher has got a proper youtube channel it's very important so start and youtube i have my youtube channel you can log in you can search vivek nanoti and you will find there are more than 45 50 videos already uploaded not for all uh, you know the contents because i am a singer you will find few songs as well friends now to to combat to face the challenge of this online let us do our swot swot analysis you need to do your swot analysis strength weakness opportunities and threats do your spot identify strengths use it brand it it's era of branding friends identify weakness and start acting on it and just don't hesitate to understand whatever years of experience you have days are changing technology is rampantly changing advancing like anything then you can have every human being on this earth can have 100 weaknesses only thing is that identifying the weaknesses and working on it is the only solution weaknesses can be what communication skills spoken english many many of the teachers sorry to say do not have command on english subject knowledge which is not acceptable which is not acceptable but still yes few teachers must be you know fearing about the fundamental subject knowledge fear about what people will say because till then till now if it, you are in a classroom nobody is going to listen you your students and students you can dominate but then once you are online once your e content once your videos are available on the web you should not have a fear that what people will say instead i'll create a wonderful thing from which which can fetch in wonderful appreciations for my video another important point lethargy postponing things let's do it tomorrow let us wait for something i am head of the department i'll ask one of my juniors to prepare my videos sorry lethargy will be always a biggest hurdle my dear friends come out of that reluctance to update yourself you know every new thing will need updation you need to update you need to learn like i told recently that you need to learn some video editing software then it's your handicap sorry video editor i don't know sorry audio and video i cannot mix sorry how, how to give voice over to powerpoints sorry i mean this is handicap but for every weakness in this world there is a solution there is a remedy and i am sure we all will commit ourselves to work on it blended learning and flip classrooms we are accustomed to this it is not something which is very new blended learning and flip classrooms so to 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 have a perfect blend of subject knowledge and ensure learning we have been using when we were using blackboards 
regular whiteboards we have been using powerpoints we have been using uh, you know other videos and ict tools and all other so what is the issue we have been already using this but we were supplementing our classroom teaching but now the the situation has come that you have to have only online solution you cannot reach to your classrooms we never know red zone green zone daily the news channels and newspapers are flooded with this news nagpur is in red zone yes we never know when like last i went to my college on what uh, 19th of march since then i have not stepped out of my house complete lockdown so i cannot say that i will blend so blending forget it if at all you get a chance of course after 4 months 6 months 3 months but currently you need to develop a complete confidence on only online learning teaching use ppts and videos sharing e content with traditional blackboard fantastic if you get a chance nothing like that but forget it friends the important thing now there are various online learning what are they people are even not accustomed to these platforms moocs we all know massive open online courses hundreds and thousands of courses are available on every topic every branch every subject everything is available youtube fantastic free of cost and then there are some professional websites professional learning portals like udemy edx coursera swayam nptel yes they are there and why not to make use of that they are either either they will be you know they are learning platforms so i have written bracket offline so you can just download you can just attend coursera gives a wonderful certificate it gives diploma from renowned foreign universities why not to upgrade edx gives very important certifications why not to go for that udemy is very cheap just for rupees 420 most of the courses available on udemy are ranging from hardly 4 hours to 50 hours and then you get a mastery because the teachers the videos available are fantastic i have i can endorse that so why not to go for all these and not only learn but you can post your own thing on the online platforms very important what are the modes of online teaching learning platforms which we are currently using we were using zoom yes frankly speaking even i i did so many meetings on zoom many international partners i have so i'm doing meetings with zoom but suddenly then zoom had a big question mark we i don't want to discuss that fine there are options google classroom we have been using always skype yes it is available google duo google meet hangouts and there are besides these there are many other platforms coming up daily you your email is flooded with so many new platforms free of cost explore them learn them and understand that how i can conduct my online classes so friends it is it is about decision it is about you deciding that yes you really want to go online and if you decide friends it is so so many easy to use user friendly platforms online platforms are seriously available just to touch upon teachers e kit as an open if you visit pandit madan mohan malviya national mission on teachers and teaching just visit this website and it gives a very important instructions about e kits they talk about teachers e kit just go visit and find out whether it is helpful to you or not software take help of software friends large number of software are available on net free to download simulations can be done even there are so many computer software engineers out of hobby teachers are doing designing their own simulations just to make students understand the complicated concepts to understand the complicated subjects the topics animations are available and you can generate your own so why not to go for these animations why not to use simulations virtual experimentation you see college is locked down so naturally laboratories are locked down and i strongly i strongly you know uh, endorse that experiments are the important thing into the students learning learning by doing i strongly endorse this just reading just writing 
will never make students understand the concepts laboratory is something which is so important but friends laboratories are also locked down but huge portals are available for virtual experiments the simulation experiments mathematical small models you can create to give an exact experience of performing statistical models friends <coughs> one small point i really i can't skip this research teacher should be a researcher he should be a lifelong learner but he should be a researcher and i don't mean researcher means doing phd i did my doctorate what 25 years back so i just cannot say it. 25 years back i did my doctorate so then i cannot enhance should i do another phd all almost 12 13 students have already you know finished their doctorate under my guidance so what i should have my own research skills to be developed and you can see on the screen that you know if you have some specialized screen i am i am expert in diesel engine engines are changed i am expert in c and cobol and c plus and days are changed i am expert in this and that knowledge i have a tremendous knowledge expert knowledge specialized skills friends they have expiry they have expiry date but research skills are for lifetime and they are most portable job mobility is very easy if you have research skills so please maintain that research acumen that curiosity component amongst you my teacher this is my appeal to all of you if you keep researching if you keep learning all the time self learners can only be the good teachers i strongly believe this so self learning keep learning keep researching and you will find fantastic changes you will never fear you can face any challenge there won't be any challenges anymore there are teachers i have many teachers in my college who says so so what sir so what i can always go for 10 online platforms and i can develop my e content i'll daily daily sit i'll daily spend 3 hours in the night specially to develop e content when i am alone in my room i'll take my laptop and i'll start developing the content or it is something which is permanent so why not to go for it attend webinars friends you understand how to then you know many a people have there are manners and etiquettes for you know delivering online so if you attend the professional webinars huge our email boxes in boxes are flooded with announcement of free webinars please do attend they are wonderful they are great people they have huge you know experience in online um, uh, telecasting broadcasting and uh, online webinaring so webinars attend those as much as you can attend you will enjoy that video conferencing do some video conferencing with your friends out in the other countries who are experts get those faculty on video conferencing for your students online connect them get it get make them as a co teacher in you to your online class 40 minutes you take and another 20 minutes invite somebody on video conferencing and let him let our students get an exposure from the professors from the world renowned universities why not live chat rooms are available L- learn yourself how to enter how to be the part of such live chat rooms and also encourage students to be part of this online world friend this is online apps are available hundreds of apps are available they are for whom on uh, this this uh, the screen shows apple but of course android thousands of apps are available nptel is booming like anything it has now tied up with swayam and that many colleges are making it compulsory it's very good initiative but they are only going for courses i'll appeal that why not to record your own videos and upload them they need there is a long list on nptel portal that which topics are yet not touched by any of the teachers it is for you friends create your own a video content and post it on nptel as well virtual laboratories yes you must learn to perform the experiments virtually and this virtual experimentations are so important that you can always always see that you know students are mad about these things my personal experience in my college is for one subject when a student is asked to perform eight experiments in a semester he will not perform even ninth experiment 
he will just finish eight experiments and when we expose them to virtual experiments i have students who have performed more than 50 to 100 experiments of one single subject because students love screens students generation is online they want mouse pad they want touch screens and if that is there that is what you are providing you will have a better connect so enjoy and inculcate the habit of virtual laboratories create simulators friends so these challenges hardware challenges software challenges there is a solution and let us be ready let us commit ourselves to the pursuit of excellence of this online teaching and find out how best way we can create and teaching learning virtual environment i'll say this is blessing in disguise we were on the way to create online contents but we were not in hurry this this pandemic this corona this covid friends very bad of course very bad we are locked down but then in a way it has given us an emergent call an urgent call to take up online teaching learning so i call it blessing in disguise this lockdown has compelled us given an urgent call that from tomorrow we have to have online assessment we have to have online exams universities in other developed countries have been already using so friends at the end i would like to request all that please don't get panic whatever number of years of experience you have you are always young enough you are always young enough to self learn to learn many things to adopt this technology adopting technology whoever makes the app whoever makes the new technology is very much aware and he decides always that my solution my technology solution my app solution is should be what extremely user friendly so they all these technologies are very user friendly friends let us not scared about this let us not defame all these things that this is not possible it is so difficult let us wait after once the lockdown is over i'll take classes please don't do that this is an opportunity to get into this online teaching learning environment i wish all the participants a very happy and learning experience for another 5 days this is my first lecture i could discuss whatever i felt whatever out of my experience i have shared everything i have shared these videos on youtube both my videos are available do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such videos i once again thank you all i once again thank the administration and convener of this fdp who has given an opportunity an online opportunity to interact with so many teachers thank you thank you so much